How you feeling? Oh, feeling good. <laughs> Welcome to Drake Bay. Emily and I traveled here because I had arranged a video trade with the Osa divers. This is the video I put together for them, and I'm just gonna let it play through while I talk a little bit about what happened. Of course, the one time I decide to not bring my GoPro with me somewhere, I go on a scuba diving adventure. Emily actually had a GoPro with her, so I figured I could just use that. What I didn't know about Emily's GoPro is that it was only rated for a depth of like six meters. So this shot right here, is actually the last shot I was able to take before it cut out completely. Every other shot in this video with the fish is either footage that I shot in Hawaii that happened to have the same species of fish or old footage that they shot and they just didn't really know how to edit. I felt really bad, but luckily I was able to actually make a pretty good video out of it. If you want to watch this full video, go check it out on my channel. As it stands, I have zero footage actually diving around fish today. Uh, all I have about is us jumping out of the boat and going down and then coming back up. It's a little awkward. When you're out in the middle of nowhere in Costa Rica and there's not a single cheap grocery in sight, the plate dinners are $12 or more, you gotta make it work. So. <laughs> Thanks to this lovely lady, we have a nice selection of bread here. And with that bread, we got some cheap squeezed beans from across the way. And we have them. All right, here's the lovely beans. <laughs> so what we got going on here is we're stealing all of this precious olive oil provided by the restaurant. Hopefully we're not taking too much, but we are really just lathering it up on this bread right now. So we got the bread situated you got it ready to rock you just get a nice nice soaking and twirling sensation going on and then you set it back down and you get the <laughs> knife and you get a big hold mind you this dinner is four dollars uh, you know it's a fantastic value. it's a fantastic value doing this with one hand is not very effective but after that's all said and done you get this award-winning salsa also provided by the restaurant which we are taking away <laughs> too much of. and it's actually pretty spicy so now i'm gonna feed it to my lovely contestant <laughs> and that is a costa rican jungle dinner <laughs> and just when you <laughs> when you get a nice dinner you still left all of this food is this serious <laughs> they didn't eat this food oh my god what do you have to say about this freak? <laughs> <laughs> this was just minutes after making that fantastic bean video. We were just blessed with the real dinner. <laughs> Our final day in Drake Bay, and it's on Easter Sunday. We're about to go try and hitchhike to Dominical, which we're not sure how that's gonna work out because of potentially no traffic or people willing to pick us up because they're all scrambling around for the holiday. It's a big deal down here but we are hopeful, gonna give it a go. Last night, like a huge thunder and lightning storm rolled in. It was so beautiful, but we were kind of worried because we're camped on the beach and I have all my expensive gear with me. Um, but this guy that like sells souvenirs has this little like hut that he built and he moved the tables for us so we could fit our tent underneath that. And we were totally dry all night, slept really good. Woke up, edited some of the video from yesterday, flew the drone. Yeah, it's been a great outro to this trip to Drake Bay. Uh, we had like a feast last night, which I'm sure you'll see in the videos. Um, everything just flowed together very nicely and it looks like I have a future connection with the Osa divers to come back and whenever I'm in Costa Rica to go diving with them and do that whole ordeal. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on this hitchhiking experience. Picked up pretty much instantly by this nice fellow. This car behind us apparently is going directly to Dominical. This is what we've gathered from air signals. Um, so once we slow down, we're gonna try and bail out of this truck and hop into their car. And yeah, yeah let's see how that works out. Yeah. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel. So 
we had a ride straight to Dominical, but we got off early to get some groceries at the supermarket because Dominical does not have one. Now we're having a bit of a struggle getting picked back up here, which is so funny because we get picked up like out in the middle of nowhere instantly. And now like the simplest ride ever we cannot achieve. Look at this, look at this, it's Easter. We are chilling at the river in Dominical, we made it. And Remy is about to do backflip or backflop, we will see. <laughs> So, our first night in Dominical, it starts pouring down rain. Like raining incredibly hard for a couple hours, lightning very close to us. And like the tent just got soaked. All of our stuff was just sitting in a puddle. So at like midnight, this restaurant down below us closed and we went and slept on like the benches <laughs> in the restaurant. Woke up at like six in the morning and this guy with this sweet, with the ocean view and a huge room with multiple beds was just like, yo, you guys can come sleep in my room. I'm like, okay. So pass out there all day yesterday, super lazy day, just like hanging out, eating food, eating our sorrows away. And then we stayed here again last night and now I'm out just watching the waves. The waves are enormous this morning. Um, I was flying the drone out around them, but my battery died. So I'm charging it, I'm gonna go back out. And now we're catching our flight, or our, our bus to San Jose to fly out to Guatemala tomorrow. So exciting stuff. So thankful for this place because, yeah. <laughs> we were in that little tent right there, covered in rain, and now we're up here with an ocean view. Glyph in a tree. On our way to San Jose. So, we ended up kind of accidentally upgrading our living situation to an air-conditioned private room with a kitchen um, and a very large bed, which has been extremely nice. It was $30 for the night, which is actually such a good deal for what it is. But we took a taxi to a hostel because that was our first attempt, which ended up being $17 per person. So super expensive. We weren't down. And the taxi was like, oh, I know this um, guest house. And he drove us here and nobody was here. And we were like knocking on the door and like looking on the website, didn't really know what to do. And then we ended up uh, seeing the co-host, who's also a taxi driver, show up and rented us that room for $30 total. So not bad. And now he's taking us to the airport. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing ever when the flight attendant comments on not having any leg room and then just moves me to the exit row. He made it her mission to do it. We're at the El Salvador airport. Emily, we've been having such a long day traveling. I just really wanted to treat you and your carrot to something special. Before we head out of El Salvador, <laughs> do you want to take, take a look around and buy you anything you want? You, really? You buy you oh my god! You want. I mean, I think that you could get some lipstick to go with that nice one. top of yours. I want this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells like me. steps outside the airport and we already have a ride to Antigua and a room in Antigua. So, yeah, we were a little nervous about that getting here kind of late, but no worries. 
first morning in Guatemala. Look at this cute place. So nice being in a very cheap area again. We got an entire dorm room to ourselves for like $7 each with like pretty big beds. Free coffee, hot showers. Just doing all the video stuff right now. All hail the holy peanut butter. It's been a long time coming. We've been deprived of peanut butter for weeks. Surviving off just peanuts. And now we got the real deal. Don't even have. I love, what's it called? High fructose corn syrup. Man, that's how detached I am from that. I can't even remember the name. There's sorts of things on there. 